Hi, I'm Mark from G-Code Tutor, and I'm here today with Practical Machinist to look at different ways we can set the datum and also how we define the datum within our programs. As CNC machines generally have quite a lot of datums we can use, more than we would ever need. So our machine datum is referred to as G53, and our working datums or our work shift datums are the datums that we can select around the part that we can make all of our dimensions stem from. So each datum would be X0, Y0, Z0. Okay, so here's a list of the datums that we can use in our machine. We have G54, G55, G56, G57, G58, and G59. Now these tends to be standard on all CNC machines, or certainly the ones I've come across. Now we can also add to this, if you find those six datums are not enough, we can have G54.1, G54.2, all the way up to G54.9, and we can do this for each of those datums. So this gives us 60 datums that we can use, which is way more than we would ever need. So when we call a datum within our program, our program may look something like this. And I always like to call a datum, here we have G54 on the top there on the safety line. And I like to call it before we do the tool call. And I also add this to every block of code. So every time we do a tool call, I state which datum we are using. This is just in case we're using multiple datums and we jump back in the program in a different place. We want to have the right datum with the right tool. Otherwise things are gonna go a little bit scary. So we always state which data we're using at the beginning of each sequence. Now quite often we would select these datums manually, either by using a touch probe or by using a certain part of a fixture or tooling that we know to be X0, Y0, Z0. But we can also set these datums within our G code and that's what I wanna talk about during this video. So to set our datums, we would use a G code G10. So what this does is it tells the machine the distance from the machine datum, the G53, to our working datum, which is our G54, G55, G56, G57, G58, or G59. And this is how we use that and define that within our programs. So the G code G10 sets the work shift value. Also on this line of code, we would include the uh, L2 command, and this tells the G10 that we're setting the standard work offsets. Now the p-value in G-code programming often has many different uses. So in this case, the p-value sets our datum. So if we're using p0, this sets our active coordinate system, the one that's already live in the machine. If we change this value to p1, this is our G54, and p2, G55. And this goes right down to p6, for our G59. So this is how we pass the information into certain datums. This p-value here tells the machine which datum we are passing the following information into. And that following information is defined by an X, Y, and Z value. Or if we have more axes than just three, we can add that information here also. So here we would give the X, Y, and Z coordinate position from the machine datum, the G53, to the position of the working datum that we are setting. So a typical G10 line may look something like this. So let's go over what all this does. So our G10 there at the beginning, and this tells the machine that we're setting the datum. We have our L2 value there, and then our P value. So the P value here decides which datum that we are passing this information into. So P1 would be our G54 datum. And then we come to the positioning part of setting this datum. So again, all these positions come from the machining datum. So the X value here of 15 millimeters would set the working datum 15 millimeters along the X axis from our machine datum. Our machine datum never changes. This is normally set in stone. We don't want to adjust that. And the Y axis would be 30 millimeters up in the Y axis from the machine datum and our Z axis would be set to zero. So this defines the position of the G54 datum in relationship to our machine datum, the G53. So by using this G10 line, we can set our datums inside the program if we know the distance from the datum to our machine datum. So there's lots of reasons why we may need to do multiple datum shifts in the program. 
one off the top of my head that I can think of as if we're making multiple parts on the same fixture and we know the distance between those parts and from the machine datum, we can do datum shifts by using the G10. So I cover setting the datum in a lot more detail on my CNC milling course over on my website. And I've got courses that cover the foundations to G-code, lathes, mills, and macro programming in my professional G-code programming series, along with many free articles on different subjects to do with programming G-code. So for more information on these subjects, pop over to my website, gcodetutor.com and check them out.